but you've driven a bus, haven't you? Yes, lots, lots How of bus drives. How hard is it? Easiest thing I've ever done. Really? Yeah. It's as easy as sitting here? It's easier, actually, because you're not being filmed. So you can have a joint. How's it going, everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. It's time for another Torben Tuesday. As you know, every month, a week before we get an update, we get a picture from Playground Games displaying all of the clues of what's going to be in the next update. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at this picture that they've given us, which is full of clues as to next week's update, update 19. So very quickly, it's safe to say that next week on Monday or Tuesday around there, we're going to get the update video telling us what's going to be in update 19 but today we have the clues and we may be able to figure some things out remember none of this is confirmed we've got some pretty solid things in today's video but not much of it you'll soon see but let's take a look at this month's Torben Tuesday here is the image in question just like all the other ones now I'll say off the bat there is not as much in this image that there usually is. There are a few things that we may have figured out, but in general, there's not that much. But I'm going to go over as much as I can. So as usual, we have the three monitors, the whiteboard, and the kind of off the monitors on the desk and stuff like that. Now, if you're new to this, this image is from Playground Games, the Forza Horizon creators themselves, and this is full of clues as to what cars and features we're getting next week in the update. That's what we're left to figure out. So anyway, I'm gonna start with looking at the monitors, then the desk, and then the whiteboard. Now, before we get into it, what I do with these videos is I look at the image myself and get what I think from it. Then I look at all the Twitter replies. I go through all of the forums and combine everything that everybody's figured out about this image, just so you can watch this video and get everything you need to know about the Torben Tuesday. So let's get into it. So as I said, I'm going to start with the monitors. Let's start with the left-hand monitor. Now, we can see a car that's clearly airborne. It appears to be a Crown Victoria with the police lights on. So a police car by the looks of it. And some people are saying that this is a Dukes of Hazard reference and maybe a New Horizon story along those lines. I'm not really keen on that. I think they're trying to hint towards the police kind of theme again, just like last month. Some people have said that there are actually issues with the police lights on this particular car, so maybe they're just hinting towards fixing it. However, I think they're hinting towards this update or these updates cars being police related. And we'll have, I'll touch on that more in a little bit and you'll see what I mean. But that's what we have from the first monitor. We'll get back to that in a bit. The second monitor, no idea what this is, but it's quite interesting. It appears to be a ball on a piece of string. Now, a few people have been getting excited by this saying, oh, are they bringing the, the football game mode back from Forza Motorsport 4? I don't think they're doing that, so don't get your hopes up for that. I'm not going to bother guessing what this could be. I genuinely have no idea, but guess in the comment section below what do you think this ball on a piece of string could mean on the first monitor. On the right-hand monitor, we can't read it. It's just completely unreadable. It seems to be an Excel spreadsheet. I really cannot read that for the life of me. Um, so again, not going to get on that. But let's look at the things that are off the monitor. Now, this is where things get quite interesting. So on his desk, we've got the usual, we've got the cups of tea, we've got the bottles, we've got the, you know, the keyboard, his hands, you know, the usual. But the things that stand out are these two cars below the second monitor. Now, the white one looks like the old generation Gallardo, the Gen 1, I think it is. I'll have a picture on screen of it right now. Looks pretty similar. Now, the interesting thing, I believe, I think I'm correct by saying this, about this Gallardo, is this is used as a police car, or was used to in some countries, you know, like Dubai and mental countries like that. But there is actually police variants of this Gallardo, which would match up with the first monitor also being police related. And it's worth mentioning, if you look at the top, uh, the roof of the Gallardo in the Torben photo, you'll see a little black vent or something black on the roof. Now, if we have a look at this police car of the Lamborghini Gallardo, we'll see the little black thing on the roof. So this is a pretty good hint towards what this could be. So again, just speculation, but there's a chance that this Gallardo here is hinting that we're getting a new car, the Gen 1 Lamborghini Gallardo, like the really, really old one. 
Now the second car, this is where things get a bit interesting. It could be this, it could be this, it could be this, it could be this, but I'm gonna go through them all now. It's quite a blurry picture, so I'm gonna get as zoomed in as I can without it being too blurry. But there's several cars that this looks like. It looks sort of like a Toyota MR2. It would, it would add up because we're technically getting one new Toyota every month, so could we be getting the MR2? I'll we'll have to wait and see. It sort of looks like a Celica at the same time. Again, not 100% sure, it's too blurry. Two likely candidates for what this red car is are one, the Ford Taurus, I think that's how you say it, picture on screen. This is used as a police car, again, in the United States, I think, known as the police interceptor, I believe. But again, this would add up, police Gallardo. This was also a police car. We've got a police car on this, um, the left-hand monitor. Could be absolutely nothing. They could be just kind of throw us off, but could be this. So could we be getting the Ford Taurus SHO as a new car in the game? No idea. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe they'll give us police variants of it, but we'll have to wait and see. But that's what it's hinting towards anyway. Now, other things off of the monitor. We've got a bit of Lego below the right-hand monitor. I'm not going to speculate on this. I don't think that really means anything. You can barely tell it's Lego anyway. Maybe a new Lego car. I doubt it, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. They've not added much to the Lego expansion, but that's another thing. But this leaves us with the whiteboard. And now, unfortunately, the whiteboard is really slack this month. It's just simply too blurry to read. Now, there is this enhanced image that someone did. So shout out to whoever did this. Jan Birkent, I believe it was. So thank you for doing this. You can actually read it a little bit easier. But in the top left, we have in bracket XXX space XXX space XXX. So that's like I said, sex. Now, I think that this is hinting towards credits because you'll know the max amount of credits you can get in Horizon 4 is 999 999 999, which would be XXX XXX XXX. In brackets in the top corner, just like the credits. So they could be kind of hinting towards something max credits related. Maybe they're knocking down on banning people with the max amount of credits if they've hacked them in and stuff like that. I don't know. Massive speculation there. But that's what I think that could be. Something credit related. Now below that, they have some more text. It says context, then little lines coming off of it into data, 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 data. Again, this is completely random, something data related by the looks of it. And then below that, where this geezer's arm is, we've got retrieve, then an arrow, play, then an arrow, local history lists, and then in brackets, F-I-F-O, sometimes known as first in, first out. Again, what on earth could this have to do with anything Forza Horizon 4 related? I don't know. Then below that, this is where it gets just too blurry to read. We've got the word struct which is, again, sort of data related. There's lots of data related hints on this board. And there's only, honestly, with all of this red stuff, there's not only one word that I can read, and that's the word challenge right there. Everything else is just too blurry, absolutely too blurry. So the gist of what I get from this board is possibly hinting at something credits related in the top left and then lots lots of lots of stuff to do with data um just just data really that line that says retrieve play local history list really throws me off i don't understand what on earth that could mean again it looks like something data related history related a list of history data or something like that that they're going through no idea my guess if I was to just guess completely randomly, is something to do with people with lots of credits. They're cracking down on the data and banning and banning people with dodgy data, maybe. They're looking into it. They're retrieving that data. I don't know. Honestly, the whiteboard is completely clueless to me in this Torben Tuesday. We're getting more clues from everything else on the picture. Now, being completely honest, this is basically everything that anyone seems to have noticed about this week's Torben Tuesday. I'm going to have a quick scroll through all of the replies and all of the forums again to see if anyone else has found anything new from what we've already had a look at. There is someone which replied saying, all I want is the H12, pretty please. It's already in the game, mate. Well done. No, nope, I've looked through. Nobody seems to have guessed anything else from this. So my take and my guesses for this month's update. Ah, oh, 
two of the new cars we're getting i think we're getting the old generation really the oldest lamborghini gallardo that was came out maybe a police version of it and the second car either the ford taurus police interceptor type car i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right or the fiat coupe 2000 the one that clarkson converted as for the new toyota i think I'm going to guess the Toyota Supra Mark V because that's kind of the next one that people are suggesting. It's in the Forza Support profile picture. I don't know, I'm not going to get my hopes up, but just if I was to guess, then I would guess that. I've told you everything you can look at. Let me know if you figure anything out in the comment section below. I'm sure we'll find out a week from about today or yesterday if we were right or wrong. But anyway, ladies, leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza and for content. See you all later.